all right what's up guys it's your boy the beef games here and welcome to another episode of the my the chat gpt my play career mode starring your boy mr van dyke i think it's episode 17 i know i know it's been a while since i've released a video like this but uh we're back on the road we're back on the road and of course if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed yet please press the subscribe button it would be much appreciated we have a lot of matches to go through this episode and um let's get going all right let's get into it all right so if you see in the table we can't be sat third place only two points behind levante and then we're whopping 12 points behind ud almeida they are killing the league at the moment and they'll probably go through at this at this rate we just need to focus on getting into the playoffs or getting into that second spot and then if we check the, the goal scorers charts we're still top with 21 in 25 matches the Suarez for UD Almeida is catching up all right so we kick off this match against Huesca pretty much going with the same starting 11 as we usually go before me starting on the right hand side going for ultimate all right so they have the ball now so it'll be the fourth minutes in Marsden lays it off to find Conte again he sees his man making up to the right looks into cut inside and slots it in with his left foot and already they are one nil up hasn't even been 10 minutes in and they're one nil up already this is very unlike us we've been pretty successful in the past matches beforehand so this is not a very good start shoots with his left foot maybe he might be left foot not sure okay we have it now but then we keep losing it and that's pretty much what's been happening a lot in the matches he finds me again is blocked and uh yeah, Hasko has been very difficult to break down. Okay, we got it still again. And I have this clear-cut chance. And then the goalkeeper just saves it in this situation. I've got to bury that. Okay, we got we got it again in the 22nd minute. Neva looks to whip it in, but he does it too late. But then he whips it in eventually. And then goalkeeper makes a fine save. All right, 30th minutes in. Marsden looking to cut inside. Lays it off to Vallejo. And then finds Kento again in acres of space. And then it's 2 0 already. And uh, as you can say, it's not been one of our best performances. We've just been given every time they get a chance, the results to a shot on target, literally. Oh, he plays a lovely ball to find Marsden again. And I think the goalkeeper came up a little bit too early there. A little bit too early. Should have timed it to perfection, but it was a good reaction. Look, if way too early and he just i don't know he couldn't react quick enough to stop it Xavi Mia looking to cut inside finding Conte shields the ball while turns shoots on it on his right foot and keeper keeper should have done better as well should have again i'd maybe argue is one of his worst performances but it's the whole team's worst performances and uh it's a shock for SD Herska who i think high on the table but i don't think they're as high as us but we just have not been performing turning up me included as well i haven't had a good game as well but none of us have really had a good game and uh keeper could have saved that to be fair and uh, the manager has guessed that they're performing against a decent team and then of course i got subbed off because i was terrible this match and i got again got a 6.2 rating and we lost as well it's interesting how um we haven't just got decent teams up and lining for us. Also, this random Chinese club is also interested in us. I don't know why. But anyway, we get into this game against Real Viodo. Of course, I'm not starting because I was poor last game. Um, yeah, comes off of the 62nd minute. It's been quite a jammy affair. 0-0. Okay, he's, he lays off to Masiga. And that's a dirty challenge from Obeng. Awful tackle from behind. Could have got a red from easily. All right, 64th minute in, finding Brian, big to cut inside, plays a one-two. I try to get into space, finds me again. Go for the finesse shot, good save from the keeper. And then 68th minutes in, the layer of wide, finding Neva again, plays back to Byron. He whips it in, finding Mata, and there's a great header from me. It's nice to see my teammates chipping in with a lot of goals, different level of goals as well. And you can see, like, my strike partners are much better than before. So, a free kick in the 75th minute to Oviedo. Takes it. Or hits the bar. And then the rebound. Finishes it with the rebound. And then 0-0. Game on. And uh, 
as you can see, we're performing much better than uh, the last match. 81 minutes in, they go still again. Viti plays it down the line to find Milian. Milian gets past his man and he plays it through on goal. And again, the goalkeeper made the same mistake as he did in the last match, coming out way too early, not timing his runs to come out. All right, we start the attack again. Petrovic plays out wide, looking for Manifa. Plays a lovely back heel to find me. Then lay off to Danny Mota. And what a finish. What an absolute pelter of a strike. It's nice to see my teammates actually chipping in and scoring quality goals from before. And I don't know if he's left-footed, but take a bow, son. What a finish. And the game ended 2 all. Again, quite disappointed with the result because we need to keep winning in order for us to compete at the higher end of the table. But we chipped in with a good performance, got the assist, 8.2 match rating. So we're going to against PK's team, Andorra, 4-4-2 classic, going with Pereira inside the team. All right, so they, we have it in, in the ninth minute, looking to whip it inside, but it's annoying. They don't whip it in quicker soon enough. I don't know why I took a touch there and the defender has got it clear. And it's a good challenge. And uh, we are a throw in. I tried to get into space. Finds it to me. I lay it off. Shields it well. I do make a slight turn. Go for the Travella shot, actually. And then he actually forced out the save. I thought he was going to catch it. Pablo Moreno shields it well. Finally, we off and the ball was uh, fin poor. We do has it now. He can start the attack. He looks to play in Fabio Moreno and he just blitz past our centre backs like they're not even there. That's poor defending and he goes with the finish. And it's 1 0 in the 80th minute and it's looking less likely to get a result out of this. And uh, he actually looks like Messi. No, no lie. And again, I was poor in this match as well. So I decided to simulate it. Ended 1 0. Pateras with the goal. And actually, we have an international duty. So we're going to be up against Czech Republic and Mexico, but they're only going to be friendly matches. So I think I think I'll just simulate uh, them in the future. And then we go to this game against uh, Alves, one of the higher teams in the league. Puteros actually comes into the side, which is interesting because uh, the other guy played well. So I'm running down the wing, looking to whip it in, and then I just overhit it. And then plays into Blanco and Miguel. Looking for Lubic. Lubic plays into Fantacola. And then Miguel is through on goal. Actually hits the bar. How, how did he miss that? And then it's deflected. And then we got it. He finds it me again. I shield onto the ball very well. Finally, Richard plays it out into me as well. I lay it off. Just trying to get into space. Luca Boy, he finds me again. Lovely turn. Short with the left foot, and then Shariva has got it clear. Good save. Okay, now they now it's the 39th minute. Looks for Roja, lays it back to Grudy, finds Miguel again. Ain't gonna miss that, and it's 1 0. And I must say, guys, we have not been playing well this episode. This episode, we always concede first, and uh, teams like to have a go at us. I mean, that's what happens when you're playing at ultimate. There's just less predictability. All right, Van Dijk again. Plays inside to find Luca Boye. He needs support. Lays off to me. Play out wide to find Byron again. He finds me again. I shoot on the right. But it's a good save from Sevilla. So corner in the, just before the end of half time. I actually win the header, but Sevilla's got it. 66 minutes in. They've got it in. He lays it off. Plays out wide to find Roger. He cuts it back to find Miguel, and it's a good save by Andre. Andre's had a good game, I can't lie. And then we win the interception, and then Luca Boyer goes with the shot. Good save. 79th minute, okay, we got it still. I look to cut inside. I take a shot on my left foot, and bang! And we save the point. And we, 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 we rescue a point in the 84th minute. And I mean, what can this team, this team do without me, man? We are the talisman of this team. And if we're going to end it getting promoted, it's down to Mr. Virgil. Look at the guy taking the sofa with his mate. He's enjoying the scenery. But it's frustrating now. We haven't even got a single win in the last three matches. 
So it's quite alarming where we're at, where we're going at the moment. Still got coming in with good performances, 8.4 match rating. Yep, so we're going to be up against the Czech Republic. Of course, we're going to simulate the match with ourselves in it. Ah, right, damn, we lost, but we actually scored. Van Dijk scored in the 35th minute, so we're still performing. Uh, and then we go to this game against Mexico. Let's simulate it and see how we do. And they actually, actually come off as 2 1 winners. And Van Dijk again, it's on a roll. He's killing it in the national team. And then we're going to be up against this team. Well, I'm not there, obviously, because of international duty. Yes, we come in with 4 2 winners. We need that win to build up our confidence. And then, as you can see, the manager, this keeps on happening. Like every time we go on international duty, they always complain about recent performances just because you're not there. All right, so we actually come in for the first time for this international duty, coming in the 60th minute, and then we end up winning. Didn't really have an impact on the game, but the win was huge for us. And then we go into this other game against the Villarreal B team, coming in the 57th minute, and then Musega has the ball again. Finds me in space, I shoot with my left foot and then Alvarez saves it. 62nd minutes in, he whips it in, tries to find me close to the near post and then yes, I've got a goal where we're in the lead as well at the same time. It's nice to see. And of course, when he's in this situation, it's so difficult to stop. Okay, so we start the attack again, 18, 18 minutes in. Laser off to front me. I've got the ball still. No one's crossing me down. I don't know why I played it to him, but Masega takes the shot, hits the bar, and then uh, they got it. All right, he finds Brian again. Back to Neva. Neva looking to find Brian, plays it out wide. Brian looking to cut back inside, finding Luca Boye. Sorry again. And uh, it's comfortable for the keeper. And it's a decent 2 0 win. And we're back in business, winning matches again. So I knew our streak was going to end soon. I knew our end streak was going to end soon. We got, only got a 7.8 rating. Not too bad. Just got the goal. And then, of course, it's my birthday. So we got a birthday preparation that we have. And I think I'll just go for... We'll just go for birthday to remember. Making it meaningful. Get those virtuoso points up. All right, so we're going to this next game. I'm back in the starting 11. But Byron's actually coming. And uh, we're going to simulate. Yeah, so again, I have the ball through on goal. But the defender make it hard for me to get inside. Luka Boya did well. Plays it back to find Byron. He looks to whip it inside. Luka Boya again does a little hilt to flick thingy. Tried to make a run for him to get inside. But he doesn't see me. And then we got another crossing opportunity in the 13th minute. He plays a lovely ball to find me. But goes over the bar. Then look at this. Easy, easy chance. Just the wrong goal. They might as well just give you a goal at this point because look, comfortably get past the goalkeeper and slots it in. Mad composure with that finish. And then of course we do the signature celebration and then we celebrate with our teammates and we're coming back with the goals. 31st minute in. I'm going to get past the fullback. I see no one in the side of the 18 yard box and then we went for it ourselves because why not? Goalkeeper should have done better but We'll take the goal for ourselves. Nice to see that we're getting back on the score sheet, scoring frequently. And uh, we're becoming a real talisman for our team. Um, 58 minutes in, tried to go in for the third. Ukeboya finds Masega again. I tried to get in space. Tried to play the ball in, but it wasn't the best. But we end up winning 2-1. And that's literally all that matters. Results. Honestly, I hate scoring in where we lose because that goal means nothing. It's so much better when you score and the goal is actually impacting the team. We come with a 10.10 .10 rating. All right, so West Ham actually interested in us. We've achieved their objectives already. But in order to get the contract we want, we have to do more. But it's interesting. All right, so this is the last game of the episode. We'll be against Burgos of C. I think we'll just simulate it nil-nil. Nil no result for us. And then Van Dijk is still killing it at the top of the goal scoring charts with 25 goals and 33 matches. Only really four goals away from getting the same tally we got last season. So we're on course to beat that. We are still sat third in the league, 69 points on level with Real Valley. So we can't be too complacent. But 
we still got Martin to climb. All right, so this brings us to the end of the episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm trying to go for these 15 minute kind of shorter kind of episodes, but with a lot more matches and more editing, just so I can just get straight to the point and help retain your guys' attention because I'm seeing views are going down a bit less on these type of videos and I still want to do this, do this um, career mode. So please help with the support and um, keep, keep the support coming in for all the shorts as well. I know you guys are liking that and uh, hope to see you guys soon. All right, see you guys later and peace.